Hi, I'm Dr. Arden Compton. I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the basic process that is used in EFT. EFT is based on the acupuncture system. The theory behind the acupuncture system is that there are certain points that can be stimulated to balance the energy system of the body. The first point is on the side of the hand, right here. We call this the karate chop spot. Okay. The next point is just right on the crown of the head. Usually with EFT, we will tap about seven times on each of these points. The next point, if you come up the bridge of the nose and just bump into the edge of the eyebrow, it's right there. Usually tap with two fingers on that point. Next point is on the side of the eye, kind of on the temple area, right there. Next point is right on the top of the cheekbone. And it doesn't matter which side you tap on. You can tap on either side. You can tap with two hands or one hand. It doesn't matter. The next point is under the nose, just between the nose and the lip. The next point is just right on the center of the chin. And the next point is on the collarbone, just to the side of the U-notch, kind of uh, just on the underside of the collarbone right there. The next point is under the arm. If, men, if you put your hand right on your breast and roll your fingers under, it's about right there. It might be tender. For women, it's about where your bra strap is. Okay, tap there about seven times. If you just use four fingers under the arm across here, you'll get it. Uh, directly below the breast. For women, it's about at the base of the bra strap right there. Okay. These are the points. And there's some points across the fingers. I'm up near the end of the finger next to the nail along the side there for the thumb, the pointer finger, the middle finger, skip the ring finger to the pinky finger, on the back of the hand, the groove between the pinky and the ring finger right there, and then on the center of the wrist. So those are the points that are used most often. You can review that if you need to, to see where those points are. When we use EFT to begin with, we always specifically identify what we need to address. It can be used to address a number of things. For now, I'm going to just use an example as, of an addictive craving. Let's say a person has a, a desire to see pornography. They would put that on a scale of 0 to 10. 10 being I really, really need to see it. And 1 being, well, I sort of want to see it. And 0 is I don't even want to see it. Okay. So always start by identifying the problem and putting it on a scale of 0 to 10. How strong does it feel now? Not how strong it might have felt in the past or how strong you think it will feel, but how strong does it feel now? Once we identify that, then we put it again, we create what we call a setup phrase that identifies the negative component but also includes a short positive affirmation. It usually goes something like this. Even though I have this craving for pornography, I still love and accept myself. This is repeated three times, so I would say it two more times. Even though I have this craving for pornography, I still love and accept myself. Even though I have this craving for pornography, I still love and accept myself. And then you go through all the points about seven times, just focusing on the problem. And you just so you could create a short reminder phrase. And you'd say, this craving. So tap seven times and say, this craving. Go to the eyebrow point. This craving. 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 This craving, this craving, this craving. After you've done a round of tapping, focusing on this negative aspect, you can come back around with positive affirmations, uh, something to offset this negative issue that you've been addressing, something to replace it with, if you will. And so you could say something like, I'd like this craving to go away now. I choose to dismiss this craving. This craving is hurting me. This craving is only leading me to poison. All the reasons behind this craving are not based on truth. I'd be better off without this craving. I choose to see the pornography for what it is. It's filth. It just hurts me. It interferes with true joy in my life. I'd like to be free of it now. 
I choose to be free of it now. I see it for what it is. It's just filth that ends up hurting me. I choose to dismiss this craving. Those are just some possibilities. Whatever you're addressing, you can create positive affirmations to offset the negative problem that you're addressing. Once you've done this, reassess. How strong does it feel now? Does it feel the same or does it feel different? There's no right or wrong here. It either feels the same or it feels different. It actually could feel stronger. Sometimes we uncover a layer or we tune in more intensely and it actually could come up. If it does, then you need to ask, why did it come up? What is it that's there that's more intense now? If it comes down, how far did it come down? And is there still some intensity remaining? You can repeat this process over and over again until you get whatever the issue is to a zero. Sometimes that's a matter of minutes. Sometimes it's a process of weeks or months, depending on the intensity of the issue and how many aspects it might have. After you've assessed why there is still some remaining intensity to your problem, it's important that your next setup phrase takes into account the remaining intensity. For instance, uh, let's say with this pornography problem, if a person had a craving, uh, and if they asked themselves, why do I still have a craving for pornography, the thought might come to mind, I needed to be happy. The new setup phrase, when you're tapping here, this is where we put, have the setup phrase, needs to take this into account. So the setup phrase might be something like this. Even though I still have this craving for pornography because I needed to be happy, I still love and accept myself. Repeated three times. So the setup phrase always has to vary from the last setup phrase. If you just do the same setup phrase again, the chances of further clearing is limited. The new setup phrase will have a new aspect to it that can provide further clearing. So a new setup phrase, even though I have this craving for pornography because I needed to be happy, I still love and accept myself. And then go through the other points, focusing on the remaining aspect. Saying something like, I needed to be happy. I needed to be happy. Remaining craving, because I needed to be happy. 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 Remaining craving. I needed to be happy. Needed to be happy. Needed to be happy. And then you can come in and put in more positive affirmations. I don't really need it to be happy. I'm deceiving myself if I think this makes me happy. This has nothing to do with true happiness. It's exciting. Uh, it's arousing. But that's not happiness. And it ends up making me unhappy. I end up having shame. I end up feeling guilty. I end up being embarrassed. There's no real happiness here. This is not happiness. I choose to set my sights on real happiness and make choices that will lead to real joy in my life. There's no happiness here. I choose to dismiss this craving. So those are possibilities for positive affirmations depending on whatever the remaining reason is for the remaining intensity. Then reevaluate again. Does the craving feel the same or whatever the problem is, does it feel the same or less? If there's still something there, then again reevaluate why is there still something there. Create a new setup phrase and go through the process again. Uh, this is a powerful tool. With this, here is a tool that can really help clear uh, mental and emotional blocks in our life that are keeping us from moving forward and having all the joy that's possible. We can remove the limiting labels that are keeping us from achieving the best that is within us. This is a powerful tool. I would encourage you to learn more and to study how to incorporate this tool into your life. This has just been a basic introduction showing you where the tapping points are and a simple overview of the process. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. I'm here to help. Thank you.